Hey, good morning. Today's video is using DB Power Amp to rip CDs. I'm going to try to make a tutorial on this. I've ripped about a thousand CDs into my home music library for my home music server. And the DB Power Amp is a very good CD ripper program. I purchased the software. I am not using the free version. The purchase version is $68. I've had it for about a year. And within the last month or two, I had to pay another $20 to get the latest software update. Although with the first $68, I did get three free software updates. So for an extra $20 for the power of that DB Power Amp CD Ripper program is well worth the money. So this video is kind of to coach you through how to use it. It's got the best scenario, the not so good scenario and the terrible scenario. When your CD is not in their AccuRip database, it has no artist, it has no tracks, it has no year, and that CD is not seen for nothing. But you can make it all right in the end. So I hope this helps you out. It's taken me a thousand CDs to muddle through this, but I'm pretty proficient at it, and it's a great program. So we're gonna go to DB Power Amp. We're gonna select the CD Ripper. Now I've got a CD in here. It is 100% correct. I've got the right genre Christmas. I have the right album. I have all the correct songs, the correct artists. I've got the picture of the CD and this is in the accurate database. And this one I'm going to rip just as it is with no interaction from me. Okay, according to AccuRip, it's compared me to 33 rips in their database, and they ensure that I have an error free rip. We'll let this go. Hopefully, the rest of the CD follows suit. This CD was a piece of cake. Insert it, hit rip. It came out perfect, has all the information you're gonna need, and that'll catalog in your library perfectly. Now we'll move on to some that aren't so fortunate. Now I have a Christmas CD in there, which is, this is the right title, Catch the Magic. These are all the correct tracks in the correct order, and these are the artists for the tracks which you notice we have holiday up here. So I'm going to change that to Christmas because holiday could be anything. And you'll see that Christmas isn't in the lineup. So you just type in what you want. The release date's correct. It's 2001. Is this one of one? There's no album art. So we're going to click on the little disc down there. And now we're going to search to see if we can find a picture of the CD that we've got. And this is it right here. So we've got the proper picture. We've got the proper date, the genre. Now we're going to do rip. And this is the default ripping. It'll do two passes before it writes. I always use level five as recommended. That is what it defaults to. I have a NAS with a music library on it. That's where the music goes. It's ripping in flack, and this is the order that it puts the tracks in. This rip speed, I've seen that up to 25, 20, 25. I don't know what makes it determine the speed. So because this CD is not an accurate database, you get the X with the AR, but it is telling me it's a secure rip because it did the two passes and both passes were the same, it considers it secure. So we'll let this go through the rest of the CD and see if we get any errors. Now because these make two passes, it gives you a valid CRC, which is cyclic or cyclic redundancy check. If these did not match, you would not get the CRC that you have here. It would be red. 
So what we're going to do is just to prove that. Let's re-rip one of these. And if everything is true, that CRC is going to be green. It's going to ask if we want to overwrite. Sure we do. Let's try that. And we're going to let it rip again. And this CRC should come back green if it's happy. Because our CRCs are green, we could be 100% confident that we have an error-free rip. Even though there's no data in AccuRip to tell us that, the CRCs are telling you that that's ripped four times with no change. So we have, a very, we have an accurate rip. I've ripped another Christmas CD that was in the AccuRip database. However, my rip is being compared to only one previous rip in their database. And everything ripped properly except for two tracks down here at the bottom but you'll see it's secure because my CRCs are the same so either my rip is good and theirs is bad or their rip is good and mine is bad so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to re-rip those two tracks and if my CRCs come back green I'm going to say I've got the good rip and they've got the bad rip. So we're going to re-rip these two. Overwrite, yes. And let's see what we come up with. Let's see, that rip speeds up to 17 now. Let's see, my CRC's red. So now that means there might be something wrong with my disc. I should have ripped the same CRC's the second time. See, this one's green. So let's uncheck that one. Let's re-rip this one one more time. Overwrite, yes please. If this comes up right again, I'm not going to worry about it. It's one track on a Christmas CD. You could take the disc out, clean it, put it back in, give it a whirl. Okay, see there's something wrong now because it's re-ripping frames. This is another level of error correction. And you know, it could take a long, you get 10, 15, sometimes you want to re-rip hundreds of frames and it's a time consuming process. We'll let this go because it's already only down to two. Okay, so now that re-rip frames with the error correction gave me a green CRC. So as far as I'm concerned, my CD is considered a clean rip now. So we'll eject that and move on. Now comes the worst case scenario. I've got nothing. Okay, I have a three disc Christmas CD set. It's called Nayride and it's got nothing. It's totally blank. It's not an AccuRip. And you can't, you could just rip it like this, but if you get the second disc, it's going to say unknown artist. It's just going to keep overwriting whatever you've already previously written. So this is the time consuming, tedious part, but it's not too bad. So this, we just type everything in by hand for right now. So the name of this CD is Nayride. Genre is Christmas. And the name of the album is. The World's Most Beautiful Christmas Carols. There is no date on this CD. It's a compilation. There's seven different artists on this. So you can use cut and paste when it comes time to fill all of this in. Track one is Jingle Bells. And just hit enter and it throws you over to artist. And this artist is Barclay Christmas Orchestra. So the artists are various. Now this is disc one of three. So now I'm just going to go in. I'm going to type in all these tracks. I'm going to type in the artists. For the artists, I'm going to use cut and paste just like you would in a Word or Excel. The tedious task of entering all the information is done. 
And for all these artists, I just did click and paste. This last track had a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm just going to leave it blank. You know what? We'll put various in there. Now, if you notice, I don't have any album art. When I try to look for this CD, I do not find it. So, you got these little dots down here. Album art menu. I'm going to load from a file because I took a picture of it right here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to open. And that's what I'm going to use for my album art. This is a three disc set. The only thing that changes, this is ABC. I don't care. And we're going to do rip, baby. And here we go. I am not in the AccuRip database. The program says I have a secure rip. My CRCs are not red. So I'm going to let this go. I hope all 19 tracks come back secure. And then I've got two more CDs of this three disc set. But I'm going to have to type in all the tracks, the artists, and change the disc from 1 to 3, 2 to 3, 3 to 3, and keep adding this album art, and it will be done. I really could care less about this album art in this Christmas CD, but this was a very good example to use for this video, because had this been one of my bands that you get one of those bootleg CDs or something like that that you really like, but it's not in the database, you can make it 100% look like it's supposed to. You can see my rip speed is up to 23 now. I wish I knew what determined the rip speed, but I don't. And see, this is doing pass two ripping, so it rips twice, and if the CRCs are good, they come back black. When this is done, we will re-rip one track and we should get green CRCs. Okay, everybody is happy. So, just for demonstration purposes, we'll go with the one minute. We'll go with the one, or we got a one minute one up there. We'll do that one. Let's uncheck the rest of these. Now we're going to, we're going to rip this one. Rewrite, absolutely. We should come back with green CRCs right here. Let's see how she does. All right, we're secure. So we got a good rip on this. Well, I hope somebody out there finds my tutorial helpful. Like I say, I've ripped a thousand CDs. And in the beginning, it was kind of frustrating trying to figure out how all that worked. The unknown artist thing will kill you because you will overwrite CDs that you already wrote. And you'll be wondering where the hell did the music go? Well, you erased it when you overwrote it. So whatever you can do to make whatever CD you have unique, do that, and you'll work out just fine. Well, cheers with an icy cold gin and tonic. And this gin is Empress 908. Very unique, very tasty. Ah, uh, well, happy CD ripping and cheers. Take care.